Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Code Fights, doing Bishop and Pawn of the Dark Wilderness of the intro of the arcade section. Now, what we're tasked with here is we are getting the position of a bishop, and we're getting the position of a pawn. If you don't know anything about chess, a pawn can only move forward, and a bishop can move diagonally. We only care about the diagonal. And we want to know, can our bishop, as you can see with these circles, hit our pawn? That's basically what we're checking here. And uh, what we can do, how I did it, was I created a board object. And if you watch the other video in which I so I use it, used a board object to find out, uh, is another chess-related video on here, another chess-related algorithm. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it was off the top of my head, but I, uh, I kind of recycled that logic for finding out what board piece we're looking for. Uh, so I create my board here and basically what we're trying to do so you see we have a b c d e f g h and then we have one two three one to eight what we're trying to do is we're just going to convert those a b c d's e f g h's which are in here our moves our a is a one our c is a three we're going to go ahead and convert those to a uh, number that's why we're creating this this uh, board array probably a better name for this would be X coordinate array maybe um, anyhow name it whatever you'd like EF G and finally uh, H all right uh, the next thing we're gonna do and um, is we're gonna get the X coordinate and the Y coordinate of the bishop and the pawn. So let's go ahead and create variables to store that. So remember our bishop, our, we're getting uh, it put in as a string. I'm gonna call this bishop x. We're gonna set this equal to the board object. And we're gonna pass in bishop, or the first character of the bishop string. That is going to, in case A, it's gonna set this to one, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same, something similar to the Y, because the Y is already a number. All we have to do is parse the int on that character. So we have Bishop Y, and we just parse int, and I'll turn it into an integer, and that will be Bishop 1 for the second character. We're going to do the same thing here, except now we're going to do it with the pawn. And we're going to say, uh, let pawn X be equal to the board of bishop excuse me of uh, pawn zero my, my apologies there so that's going to give us our x coordinate and then we're going to get the pawn y coordinate equal to the board of um, not board. I can say the same thing here. Of the int that is the second character in that in our first test here, C3, it's going to get parsed the pawn one character. All right. So now we what we have here is the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the bishop and the pawn. We're going to set a single if statement that is going to return true if it is the case. Now, what we have to calculate is the ver whether the whether the whether the uh, diagonals in either direction, down or up, are on the same path. And we can do that just by adding the the um, values together, or by adding the x with the pawns y, the bishop's x with the pawns y, and the pawns x with the bishop y to see that. So that's where that or statement comes in. So the easy one to kind of understand is, hey, if bishop x plus bishop y is exactly equal to uh, pawn y plus pawn x, then return true. However, this will only solve about half the use cases. We then have to take care of some other ones 
that are going to be added on as well. And the reason for that is say you're right here, you need to kind of be able to figure out this coordinate as well. So there's two use cases. So say our pawn is here, or our, our bishop is here, and our pawn is here. We have to kind of do some additional math, or here, or here, whatever, wherever it's at. Um, but we just have to figure some things out. And uh, it get, it's a little strange, but uh, it took me a second to kind of fully understand it. But bishop x, so in the case that they're not identical in that fashion, another way that we they can be on the same location is if we add our bishop and our if we add our bishop x and our pawn y and our pawn x and our bishop y if those are identical it is also a true statement so if either one of these statements are true what did my girlfriend send me you know maybe it's not a, a live stream appropriate picture what, is good? <laughs> what did she send me let's go ahead and close that real quick um so, uh, bishop y plus pawn x. So if those are identical, it's also true. Now, those are the only two cases we need. If neither of those are correct, uh, we will automatically return false. And there we go. We are done. That is... It, again, it, it goes back to just kind of being able to find a pattern that goes with the board and understanding what calculates the the path of this bishop to pawn ratio. So we, we basically just say, hey, calculate the, the true statements after we break it down into a numerical value with our board object. And then wham, bam, thank you, man. We are done. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. And if you're interested in joining our Facebook group or our Discord channel, that's available for you as well. And uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, that'd be dope as well. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.